This is an overview of the image card carousel. Let's get started. This is an overview of the image card carousel. To get started, drag in the image card carousel into one of your Elementor columns. I'm going to take you over all of the settings. So the first setting is for loop. You can disable or enable that. Autoplay is for turning off the automation of the animation and the pagination. Margin is for creating a margin between the different slides. So right now you can see I just made that bigger. You can make it smaller or bigger, whatever your preference is and whatever your design is. You can determine how many slides you want to show in each page of the pagination. So for example, I'll change this to two and now we can see only two slides. The transition speed is for the, how long it takes between each transition between pages. So for example, I changed that to six seconds right now instead of one. And when I slide, it will take it six seconds until it finishes the transition. The next setting is for the interval. So we can make the interval also a, a bit longer, but this needs to work with the autoplay on. So right now you can count six seconds until the next time the carousel will play automatically. Great, I'm going to turn off autoplay for demonstration purposes and the number of items. Let's jump into the items and see what they consist of. So each slide like this consists of an image, a title, some content, button text for the button, and a link. You can link this to wherever you want. I'm just going to replace one of these images with a image, just so you can see how nicely this adapts. You can change the text over here to, let's say we have a new drone, and maybe you want to change the link to buy now. And that, this is how you edit this. Let's jump into the style tab. Inside of the style tab, we can change the item background. So right now it's sort of a dark gray. You can change that to black. You can change that to any color you like. I'm going to leave it black. And the content padding is the padding around the content area. We can make that larger. For example, if I push it to fixed 50 pixels, now there's a lot more padding over here. Item radius is to make the item rounded, so you can play around with this slider and put any value that suits your design. I'm going to leave it at 30 pixels and the image height, so you can play around with the height of the image and you can see this adapts automatically and looks good. The next setting is for alignment. You can align your text over here to the center for example or to the right depending on what language you are in and let's jump into the title settings in the title settings you can change the title color typography so let's just check this out and change this to a different font let's find something that looks cool awesome and we can play around with the size just so that looks awesome Title spacing is for the space above the title. I'm not going to touch that. But in text, I do want to make the spacing a bit bigger. So I'm going to push that to 20 pixels. And this is the space between the text and the title itself. Also in button, you have an option for button spacing. So I'm going to push that as well to, let's say, 40 pixels. And I'm going to push up the border width to 3 pixels. Awesome, border radius is for the radius around the button. Push that all the way up so it looks rounded and resembles the rounded corners in the items. Going to unlink the button padding and just make this a bit wider. I want my buttons to look wider. So I'm adding some padding on the left and on the right. And let's just jump back into title and make the title a little bit smaller. Awesome, and that's about it. So I think we've shown all the options that you have in the image card carousel by unlimited elements. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you liked it, please click the like button. It helps our videos go viral, and I'll see you in the next video.